everyone, I'm Lubna Hdiddu. I recently graduated as a PhD on material science and I'm working on the development of negative electrode materials for the next generation lithium ion batteries. As you know that rechargeable batteries are an indispensable part of our modern society. For many years, electronic devices were the main driver for their developments, but recently, through other aspects have put battery research into the spotlight, including the electric vehicles and the stationary grid storage for wind and solar electricity generation systems. Since their commercialization by Sony in 1990, the lithium-ion batteries have been considered as a real success story. They dominated the batteries market thanks to their high energy density and efficiency. The initial challenge for lithium-ion batteries was to define a suitable cathode material facilitating the lithium intercalation disintercalation. But actually, a huge interest have been oriented to the development of a nanode material meeting the requirements of high energy density and high safety. Since their development, the anode market has been dominated by graphite, However, the graphite has reached its limited theoretical capacity of 372 mA per gram, hindering its use in so many applications. And to overcome these limitations, the development of some alternatives is required. Here, the metal oxide are a promising class of material, especially the cobalt ferrite oxide. In this study, the cobalt iron oxide material has been prepared in the nanometric scale using the alginate jelly method where the alginate solution uh, was injected into an aqueous solution containing the metal cations. Here we obtain a gel bed that we remove from the solution, we wash and we dry to obtain the xerogel, then we consign the xerogel to remove the sacrificial biotemplate and to release our synthesized oxide. The X-ray diffraction pattern of the cobalt iron alginate hybrid material confirm that the metal cations convert completely to pure cubic spinal structure of the cobalt ferrite material. The SEM image and the nitrogen adsorption desorption isotherm show that the sample consists of agglomerated nanoparticles with an average size of 45 nanometer and a specific surface area of 53 meter square per gram. Evaluated as anode material for lithium ion batteries, the cobalt ferrite displays interesting electrochemical performance. From the galvanostatic test and after 100 cycle, the electrode material still can deliver a reversible capacity higher than 1000 mA per gram with a capacity retention of uh, 89%. More than that, the material exhibits excellent rate capability performance where the current rate has been increased to the highest value, specific discharge and charge capacities higher than 500 mA per gram have been obtained. So to better understand the lithiation lithiation mechanism and the structure evolution during cycling, we have conducted an in-situ XRD measurements. During the first discharge process, we have noticed that the cobalt ferrite's uh, main characteristic peaks become larger and their intensities uh, decreased until they went extenuated with more inserted lithium. At the same time, three other peaks started to appear. These peaks are attributed to the hexagonal metallic cobalt, indicating that the cobalt to plus contained into the cobalt iron oxide uh, convert to metallic cobalt during the first discharge process. 
As a complement to the X-ray diffraction analysis, we have performed an iron Mosbauer spectroscopy. The iron the Mosbauer spectrum recorded at different points during the first discharge process show a transformation from very very magnetic to paramagnetic behavior, which is due to the formation of more nanometric particles with reduced crystallinity. And here, the spectrum recorded at 0.8 volts during the first discharge process confirms that the transformation of the iron triplast to metallic iron is not direct and iron triplast is formed as an intermediate species. At the end of the charge, the metallic iron gets partially oxidized to iron triplast. This work consists of taking advances from the electrochemical properties of the nanometric cobalt ferrous oxide and its use as anode material for lithium ion batteries. So, we have managed to obtain good electrochemical performance and we have used the in situ XRD and the ex situ Mosbauer spectroscopy to better understand the radiation the radiation mechanism during the charge discharge process. Thank you for your attention.